They're trying to connect. Good morning, you are. Good morning. How you doing? All right, you. I'm doing good. You guys ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you need it? I saw we had. Did you need an interpreter for some of these? Or not, not on the male side. Okay. All right. Good. And I don't need game on the female side either, you all Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So we're ready to get started. Frank, the man, when you get a change. Yeah. Can you see the female you on? No, your camera's not on. Uh, yeah, the screen saver is still on, the camera's not on. Okay. Yep, it was on just a second. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, if everyone will please raise your right hands. You swear or affirm that the information that you tell the court will be the truth. Um, if so, say yes and please lower your hands. Yes. yes. All right, thank you. All right, you all can have a seat now. All right, so this is your first appearance in the Magistrate Court of Clayton County. I'm Judge Kimberly Bando. I'm not here to take a plea in your case, or we're not here to have a trial. As you see, there are no witnesses here. This is only your first appearance, which is also considered a bond hearing. So I'll let you know what you've been charged with and if you have a bond set, what your bond amount will be. You do have certain rights. You have a right to the presumption of innocence. You have a right to indictment by grand jury for most felonies and a right to accusation for misdemeanors. You have a right to have a trial. You have a right to cross-examine witnesses. You have a right to compel witnesses to come to testify on your behalf and you have the right to have an attorney represent you. So those are all the rights that you have and you will keep to the conclusion of these cases. Some of you will be allowed to post unrestricted bonds. And, and if you have an unrestricted bond, 
that can be posted by going through a bonding company. And they usually take about 15% of the total amount of your bond. Or you can post your bond by going um, using real property. If you use a property bond, it has to have the three times the equity amount in the property to secure your release. Or you can post a cash bond, which literally you post whatever your bond amount is, you post that amount in cash to the jail. After the conclusion of your case, that money is returned to you minus some administrative fees. Some of you will have bonds that have restrictions, which are called special conditions. That will prohibit you from contacting a certain person or going to a certain location. If you violate the court's order and you contact the person that I've asked you not to have any contact with, or you go to a place that I've asked you not to return to, you could be charged with aggravated stalking. If you're charged with aggravated stalking, you are not entitled to a bond while you wait your court date, and you could be, the maximum penalty is $25,000 and up to 10 years in prison. So please do not violate the court's order if I ask you not to contact the person or go to a certain location if you have special conditions. Each of you will have to make a decision this morning as to whether you would want to keep your preliminary hearing or if you would like to waive your right to have your preliminary hearing. What a preliminary hearing is, is where the state would have to prove that it's probable that you have committed the crime that you are accused have committed. The burden is low. All they have to prove is that it's probable. It's not an actual trial. So if you decide that you would like to keep your preliminary hearing, that court date, if you were charged with a felony, will be June the 30th. So if you don't make your bond or you're unable to make it, the next time you come to court, if you want to keep your preliminary hearing, will be June the 30th. If you were charged with a misdemeanor, only your court date will be June the 29th. So keep that in mind. If you, while I call you up individually, you'll have to let me know if you want to decide you want to keep your preliminary hearing or if you would like to waive it. If you decide that you want to waive your preliminary hearing, then you will not come to court on those dates. You will get notice mailed to you if you bond out where to go, when to come, and where to go to come back to court. All right. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. The first, we're gonna do the females first. And the first one I have is Samira Bryant. Ms. Bryant, you've been charged with aggravated assault and criminal damage to property in the second degree. Both of your bonds have been denied at this time. Would you like to waive your right to a preliminary hearing or would you like to keep it? I wanna keep it. All right, so your preliminary hearing date is June the 30th. Based on your application, I have appointed an attorney to represent you now. Do you have any questions? So I don't have a bond, so I gotta wait to come back to court to get one. Not necessarily. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Mm -hmm. So what happens is they may, um, once they um, are come to see you, they'll talk to the DA's office to see if they can get a consent bond, perhaps before then, because then they'll have an opportunity to investigate what the allegations are so that they can see if they can come to an agreement before your court date about a bond. All right. All right, do you have any other questions? No, ma'am. All right, thank you. Yeah, you can go. Right. Ms. Dimbo Khadija. Back to you, CL 215. Good all right, now you've been charged with uh, driving without a driver's license and possession of marijuana less than one ounce. Your bond is $1,000 with driving without a license. 1500 with possession of marijuana less than the ounce. You want to keep your preliminary hearing or would you like to waive? Waive. All right. Please complete the waiver form. Uh, make sure I can understand your handwriting so that I know that it belongs to you. You will receive notice when to come back to court. How much money do you make a month? Um, about thousand. About thousand two hundred. About two hundred. 
1,200. Okay, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. You'll receive notice in the mail. Just complete that waiver form before you go back. Okay. Yeah, she waived it, so she needs to sign that paperwork. All right, Miss Green, Kiana Green. Ms. Green, did you um, complete a court appointed attorney for him? Uh, no, ma'am. All right. You've been charged with two counts of aggravated assault. Um, the first one, your bond is $25,000. The second one is also $25,000. Your total bond is $50,000. You cannot have contact with China Smalls Jenkins or Stuart Wright. And you cannot go back to the Ruby Tuesdays in 1925 Sullivan Road in College Park, Georgia, 30337. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Would you like to waive or do you want to keep your preliminary here? I'd like to waive it. Okay. Just complete the waiver paperwork. If you're unable to make your bond, I'm going to bring my bond. You, you didn't fill out a court appointed attorney form, so I don't have anything to appoint an attorney to represent you. Did they not give you the form or you just didn't fill it out? They didn't give me a form. Okay, just ask them for a form so they can fax send it over to me and then I'll, fill, I'll complete an appointed attorney if you qualify for one. Okay. All right, thank you. Did you make sure she um, gets a court appointed attorney form? If not, if she don't make the bond, she'll just be sitting in there and not have a lawyer at her preliminary. Yes, you know, I got one with you right now. Okay, thank you. All right, Ms. Jones. Ms. Jones, you've been charged with simple battery. Your bond is $2,000. You can't have any contact with Michael McCollum. Would you like to waive your preliminary hearing or would you want to keep it? Uh, we can waive it. All right, just complete the waiver form. Uh, make sure I can understand your handwriting. Okay. Let me get this form here. Okay. All right, based on your form, I've appointed an attorney to represent you, ma'am. Ms. Jackson? All right, Ms. Jackson, you've been charged with theft by receiving stolen property. Your bond is $2,000. You want to waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to keep it? I'll waive it. Okay, so just complete the form. And let's see. Did you complete a court appointed attorney form? The one for an attorney? No, oh, ma'am. All right, make sure you complete it before you go back so I can appoint an attorney for you if you qualify for one, okay? Yes, thank you. All right, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, she did one. She filled it out. I found it. Oh, she did? Okay. Yes. All right, Miss Lattimore. Uh, you're on Miss Lattimore. She made buns. Okay. I'm just not sure what's going on with that, but she made buns like an hour ago. Okay. All right. Okay. Miss Layham, Layman. Yes. Now you've been charged with simple battery. Your bond is two thousand dollars. You're not uh -huh. to have any contact with Cecilia Dudley. Do you understand that, ma'am? Yes. Uh huh. Would you like to waive your preliminary hearing, or would you like to keep it? Keep it. All right. Your preliminary hearing date is going to be June the 29th. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
I think that's all the females you want. Oh, one more, right? No, we have one more nun. Yes, Nellie. All right, Ms. Nala, you've been charged with theft by deception. The bond is 5,000. Forgery in the first degree is 5,000. Would you like to waive or do you want to keep your preliminary hearing? Oh, waive it. Make sure you complete the um, waiver form and based on your application of appointed attorney to represent you. Oh, I have a lawyer. Oh, you already have one? Yes, ma'am. Okay, no problem. All right, thank you. Thank you. Your Honor. Yes, sir. Did she already have a lawyer and just didn't fill out the waiver form? She filled it out already. Okay. I have one for her. All right. All right, thank you. That's everybody, right? That's it. All right. All right. Ma'am, you ready for the mail? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Thomas Avilas. Slide down. Take care. You got it. Oh, you missed the um, comments of vows? Avilas. Avilas. All right, so you've been charged with battery. The bond is 3,000. Obstructing is 1,000. You can't have any time contact with Stephanie Survey. Would you want to waive or you want to keep your preliminary here? I mean, uh, keep it. All right. It's going to be June the 30th. Based on your application, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you have any questions? No. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Demetrius Brown. Mr. Brown, I'm going to um, do you at the end of the calendar because you, um, I got to read you a separate set of rights that you have at what you're charged with. Okay, so you'll come back at the end, all right? All right. Yeah. Are you Mr. Davenport? Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> All right, Mr. Davenport, you've been charged with violation of the Georgia Controlled Substance Act. The bond is three thousand. Possession of marijuana less than one ounce is fifteen hundred. Driving on a suspended or revoked license is fifteen hundred. Violation of the seatbelt law is five hundred. And possession of drug-related objects is five hundred. So your total bond is seven thousand dollars. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to keep it? Waive. Right. Complete the uh, waiver form over there. I've appointed an attorney to represent you based on this application. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, ma'am. All right, make sure I can understand your handwriting on that form that you're about to fill out, okay? Yes, All right, thank you. Are you Mr. Dudley? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Dudley, you've been charged with obstructing a law enforcement officer. The bond is 3,000. Speed is 500. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to keep it? Waive, ma'am. Okay. Your preliminary hearing is going to be June. Oh, that's right, you waived it. Um, so complete the waiver form for me based on your application of appointed attorney to represent you. Any questions? Uh, excuse me, how many civil bond was? 3,500 total. All right. Slide down. Are you Mr. Espinosa? Yeah. Mr. Espinosa, you've been charged with child restraint violation is 500, possession of mayor. Mayor one is 1500. Your total bond is $2,000.
You want to keep your preliminary hearing or would you like to waive it? So make sure you complete the waiver form based on your application of appointed an attorney to represent you, sir. Are you Mr. Hanin? Huh? Is, is your name Hanin? Is that your last name? No, it's Gomez. What's your name? Daniel Gomez. I didn't hear you. Daniel Gomez. Daniel. Oh, okay. You've been charged with driving with a suspended license. Your bond is $1,500. You want to waive your preliminary hearing or would you like to keep it? Wait. All right. So just complete the waiver form and you'll um, have appoint an attorney to represent you. Are you Mr. Hanin? Yes, ma'am. All right. You've been charged with trafficking uh, marijuana. Based on the law, I'm not able to give you a bond at your first appearance. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing or do you want to keep it? So let me waive anything out. Wait. Let me get a bond, right? No, the law doesn't allow me to set a bond on trafficking at first appearance. So when is it? Wait, 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 I didn't understand what you said. You said what? If I don't waiver it, I have to wait till it's for the third day to see you again. No. So if you don't, yeah. Your next court date, if you want to have the preliminary hearing, is going to be June the 30th. That's correct. If I waive it, when is my next court hearing? It depends on the judge that's assigned to your case, which won't be me. It'll be a superior court judge. And I don't know. They don't give us those court dates. Well, you can so what you so since you're not clear about it, you can keep the court date. I'm gonna appoint an attorney to represent you. They'll come and meet with you, and then you can always waive it after they meet with you. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, are you Mr. Hernandez Vargas? Yes, ma'am. All right, you've been charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is five hundred dollars. You want to keep your preliminary hearing, or would you like to waive? Uh, uh, what will be my best choice? Um, it's not really a best choice. Are you going to be able to make your bond? Uh, if it's $500, probably, yes. Okay. So you can keep the preliminary hearing. If you bond out, then the court, you won't have to come back to court on that date. So you can just keep it and talk to the lawyer later if you're still in jail about waiving it or keeping it, okay? Okay, So I've appointed you a lawyer. Um, if you make your bond, you'll get a notice in the mail when it comes back to court. Definitely. All right, thank you. Prelim he's a preliminary here. Morning, Morning. Morning. All right, are you Mr. James? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. James, you've been charged with possession of marijuana. Less than one ounce, your bond is 1500 Following too closely is 500 So your total bond is $2,000. You want to keep your preliminary hearing or would you like to waive it? 
I would like to waive it. Also, Your Honor, uh, I was wondering, would I be eligible for a signature by a possible? Unfortunately, um, the chief judge here doesn't allow us to do those without speaking to her directly, and she doesn't work on the weekend. So if I asked her, you wouldn't have an answer to Monday. Yes, ma'am. Well, Your Honor, uh, another question. Would I be entitled to a, a lesser bond done due to my charges not being violent? No, that's actually the scheduled amount. So that's like actually the lowest they go yeah. for, those, for those type of charges. I looked at everything. I looked at everything. I appreciate court. No problem. So make sure you fill out that waiver form. I appointed an attorney to um, represent you. So do you have any other questions? No, ma'am. Right. You're welcome. Next all right are you mr um mills mr mill you've been charged with violation of the seat bill laws 500 possession of marijuana less than one ounce is 1500 possession of a firearm by a convicted felon is 3000 no insurance is 1000 and i dismissed the criminal game charge so your total bond is six thousand dollars would you like to waive or keep your preliminary hearing? I'd like to waive it. You said my total bond is $6,000 now? Yes. I, I, I don't want to waive it. I want to keep my primary date. All right. So that's going to be June the 30th. Based on your application, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Do you have any questions? No, no. And you said I, I, uh, $6,000 total is going to be the 15% of that, right? Mm, yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, are you Mr. Mosley? Yes, All right, Mr. Mosley, you've been charged with driving on a suspended or revoked license to 1500. You have two counts of violation of Georgia Control Substance Act, and it's 3000 for each count. So, you. so your total bond is 7500. Do you want to keep your preliminary hearing or would you want to waive it? Um, wait. Okay. Make sure you, I can understand your hand right when you complete the waiver form. And how much money do you make a month? You didn't put it on here. So what else? How much money do you earn a month? You didn't write it on your application. Oh, I don't know. I've appointed an attorney to represent you. All right. Thank you. Are you Mr. Noble? Yes. All right, Mr. Nova, you've been charged with simple battery. Your bond is 2000 You can't have any contact with Jeffrey um, Brown. Would you like to keep your preliminary hearing? No, wait. All right. Make sure I can understand your handwriting on the waiver. Based on your application, I've appointed an attorney to represent you, sir. Any questions? Hello. All right, thank you. Are you Mr. Short? Yes. Mr. Short, you've been charged with criminal trespass. Your bond is 3000 You can't have any contact with Teresa Thorpe. Do you understand the special conditions of your bond? Yes. All right. Did you want to keep your preliminary hearing or did you want to waive it? Waive it. All right. Yeah. You actually make too much money. You don't qualify for a court appointed attorney. So you're going to have to hire one, okay? okay. All right. Do you have any questions? No. Ma'am. All right. Thank you, sir. That's it. 
All right, are you Mr. Sims? Oh, that's me. Oh, all right. How you doing, John? All right, Mr. Sims, you've been charged with disorderly conduct. I reduced your bond to $500. You want to keep your preliminary hearing or you want to waive? I'll keep it. All right, it will be June the 29th. Based on your application, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. You have any questions? All right, thank you, sir. Wardlaw, 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 Are you Mr. Wardlaw coming up? Yes, ma'am. All right. Mr. Wardlaw, you've been charged with battery, family violence, the bond is 5,000, cruelty to children is 2,000. So your total bond is seven, hold on one second, $7,000. But that's like 700, right? It's probably 750 to 800. They, they charge 15%. That's 10, 700 is 10%. All right, let's see. Hold on one second. All right, you have special conditions on your bond. You're not allowed to have any contact with, is it minor Bernice Haynes Williams? You know who that is, right? All right, and you can't go back to 19 Lakeview Driver in Riverdale, Georgia, 30296. Do you understand the conditions of it? Okay, do you wanna keep your preliminary hearing or would you like to wait? You wanna keep it? All right, it'll be June and, um, 29th. Based on your application, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. Okay. Thank you. All right, are you Mr. Wiley? Yeah, Mr. Willie. Willie. Mr. Willie, you've been charged with open container, the bond is 500. DUI less safe is 3,000. Reckless driving is 3,000. Improper lane chain is 500. So your total bond is $7,000. Did you want to keep your preliminary hearing or would you like to waive it? Uh, I, don't, I don't really understand. Uh, okay, so if you're unsure, I uh, will keep the preliminary hearing and you can always waive it after you have an opportunity to speak with an attorney about it. And that way you can make an informed decision. All right. Uh I don't, how am I going to get bonded out? How's that work? You have to either go through a bonding company or you can use a property bond or you'll have to post cash. All right. How much cash will it be? The this total is, is 7000 Cash? If you do a cash bond, it's the whole amount. If you go through a bonding company, it's 15% of that. All right. Um, you didn't indicate how much money you earn a month. All right, you actually make um, more than what to qualify for um, a court appointed attorney. So you'll have to hire your own attorney. Do you have any um, other questions? Uh, I just don't know how I'm gonna be able to get out. Just, just call it. You don't, yeah, you have to, you don't have any family or friends you can call? Uh, both of my parents died last year and my wife left me last year. So I have nobody. Yeah, you'll have to call some friends or somebody to at least to go through a bonding company that so you can get bonded out. All right. Okay. All right, are uh, you Mr. Williams? Yes, ma'am. All right, Mr. Williams, you've been charged with violation of the Georgia Control Substance Act. That bond is 1,000, possession of marijuana, less than one ounce is 1,500, obstructing is 1,000, interference with government property is 1,000, crossing the guard line is 1,000. So your total bond is one, two, three, four, five, five thousand five hundred. 5,500. You want to keep your preliminary hearing, you want to waive it? I'm going to keep it. 
All right, your preliminary hearing is gonna be June the 30th. Based on this application, I've appointed an attorney to represent you. You have any questions? Yeah, yes, ma'am. I wanted to ask, how would, how would I go about signing up for like a, a lesser, a, I guess a drug class or something? So when I would, the lawyer's gonna come meet with you and they talk to people about this. And so when they come back to court, a lot of times they work something out with the DA's office to get you in drug court. So um, just tell your lawyer you're interested in drug court and then they'll work something out. Damn, yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, let's see. Mr. Brown, right? Yeah. All right, hold on, Mr. Brown, for coming. Brown. I have a lot of information to tell you, so you got to make sure you listen closely, okay? Yeah. All right. So all of the rights that I told everybody earlier also apply to you in your case. But what's going on now, because you don't actually have a crime that you committed in Clayton County, you're here because you have some charges. Let's see here. You have a warrant from Bay County Sheriff's Office in Florida for violation of probation for a battery by strangulation, warrant number 1901197. And they have indicated that they are, they will extradite. So are you in fact, James Demetrius Brown? No. Okay. So do you already have an attorney representing you in this matter? No. Okay. So basically you've been charged here with being a fugitive from justice. So I have to tell you all this stuff because these are all your rights. So as you, as you have already heard, you have been charged with violation of probation for battery by strangulation out of Bay County, Florida. You have a choice as to whether you want to contest your extradition or if you would like to waive your extradition and be returned to Florida without going through a formal extradition hearing. If you decide that you wanna contest your extradition, the court can commit you to the county jail for an initial period of 30 days. During that time, a warrant will be prepared under the governor's signature for extradition to Florida. The court may consider allowing you to post a bond, but at this time, the court is not going to issue a bond. I want to go to Florida to get out of Clayco. Okay. <laughs> well, since you understand that you want to go, you want to um, waive your right to the extradition hearing? Yes. All right. So there's some waiver forms that they have there that you'll need to sign. It's seven of them. Sign those forms, and those will get you to Florida and out of Clayton County. Lost. It give me the flood because I, like, I'm trying to tell them I got too much going on, and I'm trying to. I okay. just, just got my crib, and I'm trying to get my, my boys back. So okay, well, sign those forms, and they'll get you on your way to Florida, so you can take care of all your business. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. It's a blessing. You too. All right, is that that's everybody, right? You too. Yeah, you, you all right. You good. Thank. You. Uh, did you have that other fugitive? I had the paperwork, but I didn't, they know, but they, and they wrote OTB. I don't know how he OTB in the fugitive, but that's what they wrote. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to understand. I know it's out of Georgia, so I was like, how did he get out and it's a fugitive, but. But maybe because it's out of Georgia, they already came and picked him up. Okay, okay. That's about to, I'm about to say is I understand OTB on, <laughs> on the fugitive either. 
Yeah, because I still got the waiver paperwork, but when I went up there to get him, they say he got out. Yeah, they, they probably so he found out OTB, he is not in jail and he at the other place. Correct. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, thank you. Have a blessing. All right, you too. Bye-bye.